What's up guys? Today I'm making oatmeal on a hot plate. I got this hot plate when I first opened the gym along with the set of pots and pans that I've never used. So I'm pretty excited to finally use it and this oatmeal is going to be lit. It's going to be really tasty and yeah, I'm going to make it on a hot plate. We can make it in the microwave, but this video is specifically for a hot plate or a stove. Cool. So you're going to get your pot. You're gonna throw that bad boy right on top. I have the burner, the burner's been preheating for about five minutes. Sounds like it's hot and ready to go. And you're gonna put a cup of water into the pot and you're gonna let that bad boy boil. Bad boy boil. If you have a sprouts next to you, Check this out, you can help save the environment by getting one of these reusable drawstring bags. This holds two pounds of oats. So I got my two pounds of oats for like less than $2. And this little scooper from my NutriBio protein is exactly half the scoop of oatmeal. So I'm gonna use that, boom, right there. So remember, half cup of oats to one cup of water. And then after it's done cooking, I'm gonna cool it with some almond milk. And these are super cool because I think it comes with 12 packs of almond milk and they last a really long time. You don't need to store them in the fridge and it tastes pretty good and it only has like 30 calories. So that's always good. Last but not least, I've got my chia pudding that my boy Oakley Doakley recommended. Check that out. I'm going to throw this on top of the oatmeal and you guys are going to see it's going to come out perfecto momento. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll just wait for that to boil. Shout out to Susan Boyle. Oh, snap. I'm also gonna be adding these almonds that I got from Sprouts. And I think these are like six bucks for a pound of almonds. I love my deals and I hope you love my deals too. So I'm gonna throw an ounce of this inside the oatmeal while it's boiling. And they get nice and soft, but still have a little crunch in it and you add some healthy fats to your oatmeal, there's no losing. It's freaking amazing. I usually use regular sugar. I'm gonna use this. One pack is good enough for me. Oh, the water's boiling. Hey! All right, so you're gonna take the lid off. I have the heat on medium. I'm gonna bring it to like between low and medium. I am gonna throw that half cup of oats in there. Half a scoop more. Throw that in there. And hold on. Let me show you. This looks amazing. All right. Look at that. So you're going to stir that for about a minute. And get that out of the way. And then a handful is about one ounce. I'm going to sprinkle that on top of there. Huh? Gonna grab your spoon and give that a little mix. Yummy. Yummy in my tummy. This is the pudding we're gonna be using. Chia pudding recommended by Oakley Dokley. Check his Instagram out. Shout out to GVK. But anyway, this is the chia seed pudding. I think I let him cook too long. But no worries. That's what cooking's all about. It's all about experimenting and learning. Next up, I'm gonna add an ounce and a half of almond milk. And mix that bad boy up. Splenda! Cool. Ooh! There it is, I guess that's it, huh? There you have it. There is my chia bowl with oatmeal and almonds and Splenda and almond milk. There you have it, folks. A hearty bowl of oatmeal made on the stovetop. All right, well, I'm gonna eat this. Please like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Share it with a friend. Until next time, SCM Training Club and Coach Nate, out. Hey. All right, peace.